Hello to you, I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade. It is time to track the tropics and we do have a little action out there. Not quite as busy as things were yesterday, but of course we are still right around that peak of hurricane season which was back on September 10th. So this is typically the time that things start to heat up and we have had numerous tropical systems so far this season and we could have more. Right now though, I want to focus on what has been going on the last day or two and we had a non-tropical coastal storm roll into the Carolinas yesterday. It had a shot to become tropical storm Helene. It never quite got wound up and strong enough for that to happen. It never really had a well-defined center of circulation, but the damage is done. Even though it was a non-tropical system that made landfall yesterday, it dumped a ton of rain over the Carolinas. In fact, as we check out our Fox Red radar rain estimate over the last two days, anywhere from 15 to almost 20 inches of rain. This is going to be near Wilmington and Carolina Beach. Other portions of North Carolina, South Carolina picked up several inches of rain, but this is just a tremendous amount of rain in a fairly short period of time. So we are still dealing with a pretty big risk for flooding for the Carolinas. What's left of potential tropical cyclone eight continues to bring in the moisture. And as you can see, we do have a flood watch and even a flash flood warning for parts of the Carolinas. And we'll continue with that potential for maybe several more inches of rain over the next 24 hours for some of these locations. As you can see, Richmond over to Roanoke, Raleigh, Greenville, and even part to Charlotte could get some burst of heavier rain. So the good news here is that we no longer have a chance of anything tropical developing. That ended yesterday afternoon as it made landfall, but the Carolinas are still going to be under that high flash flood risk. So let's review what we've had so far this season. We started off with Tropical Storm Alberta. We were hit by Hurricane Barrel right here in Houston. At that time, it was an 80 mile per hour Category 1 hurricane. Then we briefly had Tropical Storm Chris, and we had two additional hurricanes, Debbie and Ernesto. Then after that, Francine, which blew up to a category two. And of course, most recently we had Gordon, which never made landfall, but it did become a tropical storm out in the central Atlantic. Next name on the list would still be Helene since potential tropical cyclone eight never reached tropical storm status yesterday. So we're hoping we don't get Helene anytime soon. However, we are monitoring a couple of systems out there right now. Let's focus on the other system that we're monitoring, of course, potential tropical cyclone eight around the Carolinas is no longer going to have a shot for development, but this is what is left of Gordon. Of course, at one point, Gordon was a tropical storm. Yesterday, it was a little weaker. It was a tropical depression. And then today it's gotten even weaker. Now the National Hurricane Center is calling this the remnants of Gordon, which means it's kind of fallen apart. It's gotten very disorganized. You can see that burst of convection off to the south of that orange highlighted area. We're looking at the central Atlantic. So this is what's left of Gordon. So it's barely surviving right now, but there's a chance that things could start to restrengthen or this system could get its act together once again. So we do have a low 20% chance for redevelopment over the next 48 hours or two days. And there's a 40% medium shot that Gordon could once again bubble up and become a tropical storm or possibly even a hurricane over the next seven days. However, chances are still in the medium range for that to happen. And if it were to happen, it's way out in the Atlantic, kind of in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. So it's really not going to impact any land area anytime soon. You can see Bermuda here. It's pretty far away from Bermuda. It's pretty far away from that Western African coast, and it's definitely far away from the Caribbean islands, and it's far away from the US. So we're not expecting any major impacts from Gordon or what's left of it at this point anytime soon. So other than that Carolina, system and Gordon. That is pretty much it for now. But like I said, things can get heated up quickly out there in the tropics because we are in typically what is the busiest, most active month of hurricane season. That is the month of September and we've got a few more weeks to go. And we're looking at our formation zones, areas where we have a higher chance to get those tropical systems, those named storms, maybe a tropical storm or a hurricane. So as you can see, this purple area here, 
That would be the most likely region for tropical development for the rest of this month for the last few weeks, and that would include the Western Atlantic and the Central Atlantic. We've already had some action in both of those spots. Also, there is an above average chance for tropical development in the Gulf of Mexico, not quite as high as the Western and Central Atlantic, but still above average. So we've still got to monitor a lot of things. There's still a little bit of Saharan dust out there bringing in some drier air and kind of hindering development. However, there's not a ton of Saharan dust, so I do think we still have a decent chance to get additional tropical systems going. If we can get something going in the Western Atlantic, Northwest Caribbean, or the Gulf, check out these water temps. Sea surface temps well into the 80s, so we've got plenty of warm water to fuel any of these systems that try to get going. In fact, our long-range computer models try to develop a tropical system right around the Yucatan Peninsula, the Northwest Caribbean, and the Southern Gulf of Mexico in about a week. So that is certainly something that we are gonna monitor closely. At this point, it takes it closer to Florida, but of course, anytime there's the potential for a system in the Gulf, of course, we have to be concerned since we are your Gulf Coast Weather Authority and we are located right along the Gulf Coast. So we'll be monitoring things closely, but at least through the end of this week, I don't think we have any tropical concerns for Houston or the rest of Southeast Texas. So we are into the second half of September now, and we will still be in that pretty busy period at least through the rest of this month and even into the first week or two of October, then the chance for tropical cyclone formation does start to decrease. However, it is going to certainly be something that we will be watching closely because things could happen quickly. That's why you always need to make sure you have your emergency hurricane tropical storm gear ready to go. Make sure you have the list of supplies you need and hopefully you've already gotten them together and you have them ready to go just in case we do have a system heading our way. Also, make sure you have your insurance papers nice and safe. Make sure you have the coverage you need. And of course, keep checking here daily if we have any sign of development that could potentially impact the Houston area or any other areas, you will be the first to know. Well, that will do it for your tropical update. A little bit more quiet today out there, thank goodness, but we'll continue to monitor the remnants of Gordon and of course that flood threat across the Carolinas. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist for Misha Shade. Enjoy the rest of your day.